What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. I hope you had an awesome weekend. It is now Monday, and uh, yeah, you guys keep pestering me about my opinions on fossil watches. You guys will not stop asking me. Okay, fine. This is my fossil watch video. Are you happy? Listen guys, I gotta be careful when I talk about watch companies these days. Like when I spoke about Shinola, I had to deal with all two of their fans telling me that I'm an asshole. So my opinions about fossil watches may differ from yours, but just... Be gentle, okay? <laughs> Please. I'm not a jerk, I'm just... It's 10.45 a.m. Let's get down to business. Okay, so how do I feel about fossil watches? Well, to be perfectly honest, they haven't really made anything in the past that's piqued my interest, and I don't really know much about them, so even though I am the time teller, full disclosure, I had to do a Google. So upon doing some research, uh, I literally typed in automatic fossil watch, and this is what showed up. Do you see a pattern here at all? I'll bring in some close-ups of this watch, and this watch, and this watch. They're all skeleton watches. Like, I don't know what's going on with Fossil's design team, but they're like, okay guys, we gotta make a mechanical watch. No one's gonna believe us that it's mechanical unless we let them see every moving part! And you guys already know how I feel about skeleton watches. For the most part, I think they are ugly uh, and overdone and just unnecessary. And yes, you guys are gonna point out, I own a Hamilton Jazzmaster Open Heart. I think there are always exceptions to the rules. Uh, and if you remember, I actually made a whole video talking about how that watch is a huge mistake. It's not a mistake. I love that watch. For the most part, I'm, I'm really not into skeletonized watches. That's number one. Number two, the average size of their watches is 44 millimeters. Now, I think that's just a bit much, okay? Subtlety doesn't seem to be very strong over there uh, at Fossil. So in summation, how do I feel about Fossil watches? Well, I think they're a bit too big, and for some reason, all their automatics are skeletonized, and I think that's gross. But I think there's something good to be said about Fossil watches, and that's their pricing, okay? Uh, from what I can see, you can get an automatic from Fossil for around $100. Now, would I spend $100 on a Fossil watch? No, hell no. But it's because I know there are other options out there. I'll get to that in a moment. But when you consider that these Fossils are just as good, if not better, than the Movados and Shinolas that are out there right now, then, uh, yeah, you've got to kind of applaud Fossil for not so blatantly trying to screw the customer. At least Fossil has some understanding of reality. And another good thing about Fossil is that although their watches are a bit too big for my taste and kind of ugly, they're not consistently pushing out these huge, grotesque, atrocities like Invicta does on a regular basis. I mean, just look at that! Okay, well that one's kind of cool actually. Okay, so you want an automatic watch for around $100. What would I recommend? Well, the first thing that immediately comes to my mind is the Orient Bambino. Okay, seriously, there are a ton of options to choose from when you're looking at Orient Bambinos, and they're really well-made, Japanese automatic watches, they're owned by Seiko, and uh, yeah, they're just, they're just really nice, refined-looking pieces that work. Another option would be the Seiko SNK 809, a very tough field watch, display case back, automatic movement, and uh, yeah, you're getting that Seiko reliability for well under $100. Maybe you want something a bit sportier, something a little bit more resilient, then definitely check out the Vostok Amphibia. I've spoken about these numerous times. Uh, very tough Russian military watch, and uh, yeah, they're dirt cheap and incredibly tough. So if you wanted something with an increased water resistance rating that you can just beat the crap out of, then uh, yeah, check out the Vostoks. So yeah, if you're looking for an automatic watch for around $100, there may not be a ton of options out there, but I think you do have some really, really great options. Again, the Orient Bambino, the Seiko SNK 809, and the Vostok Amphibia. Just awesome, awesome watches, and I'm going to leave them in my description below if you want to check them out. And because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions about which watch I'm wearing today, this is my new Vario Eclipse. It's a nice little 38mm hand wind, it's got a sapphire crystal. There's a couple other things I really like about this watch, but I'm going to spend a little bit more time with it and then do an in-depth review about it for you guys in the future. I know my Instagram followers at The Simple Consultant 
already know about this piece because I kind of did a little sneak preview of it over there. But guys, I gotta be honest, okay? I get messages pretty much on a weekly basis from various companies asking me to promote or review their products and I very rarely agree to do it because I'm just not interested in it, okay? If it's not something I would use or I would wear, uh, then I'm not going to have them send it to me. And I'm sure as hell not going to put it on my channel because although I know you guys may find it entertaining for me to rant about a product that I think is crappy, hey, look, look what these guys sent, it, it sucks. Uh, I don't want to fill this channel with a bunch of that negativity. I know there are other channels that are more than willing to bash anything and everything, but uh, I'd rather use this time to share with you guys things that I think are actually cool that uh, you may not have the opportunity to hear about otherwise. So yeah, I mean, Vario is not paying me. They did send me this watch and I wanna thank them for that, but I told them what I tell everybody. Um, if, if you want me to review something and I'm actually interested in it, I'm gonna be totally honest with my viewership. Uh, if something breaks, or if it's not good, it ends up going bad, then uh, I'm going to be 100% honest with my viewership. And uh, so yeah, who, know, who knows what will happen in the future, maybe some more cool stuff will come my way, and uh, I'll be able to share it with you. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in again. I want to remind you that my 10,000 subscriber watch giveaway is actually still going on until Black Friday, so there is still time to enter. You could win a brand new Seiko SKX 007, so guys, if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.